So here are my thoughts and review on She-Hulk episode four. You know what I like about the show? I like when, you know, last episode was a little bit more on a higher level, but then we get into episode four and it kind of, it brings it down a bit, but to a nice balance. I like how the show balances this this level of, of hypeness. Like, yes, Wong comes back. By the way, Wong, Wong, bro. Wong, Wong, Wong. This is Wong's phase, but honestly, Wong is like shaping up to be one of my favorite characters in the MCU. Like, Wong is the goat. Wong is the goat. There's, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what toxic fanboy or toxic fan or whatever. I don't care who says what. Wong is the goat. He is the goat. Nothing, nothing can touch Wong. He is the goat. Now that's well established. Um, I like, okay, so I was really looking forward to the episode where we get into some of the dating life of Jennifer Walters and She-Hulk and, uh, I don't know why I say Ann She-Hulk. I just say it because Ann She-Hulk. It is what it is. Um, You know, but, you know, I, I like how, like, they show that even, like, I know they tease it in the, like, trailer. Like, there's this bald guy that she uh hooks up with in the end or uh, uh, for a one-night stand or whatnot or just a hookup after a date. And um it, it, it makes you believe that, oh, he actually likes her for her actually is a decent guy. But it showed that even though... He sheeps himself as a decent guy, but then when she transfers into Jennifer Walters, then his true colors start to show. Which it goes to again, like I said earlier on in the show, is that I think she's starting to realize, even as a Hulk being, that yes, you can control your anger, but there's still going to be issues with being just a Hulk in general. And I think I think that speaks to a whole nother conversation, which. I would not put my voice in because I feel like other voices should be heard first before, if anything, before I or anybody else says anything. But besides all that, put that to a side. I really enjoyed this episode. It was super fun. Tons of Easter eggs, by the way. Like, I'm already for the Mephisto theories. Yes, I'm looking forward to Ghost Rider. And I, yes, the whole Donnie Blaze thing. It, just, it really didn't upset me as much. I just enjoyed this episode. I mean, seeing Hulk actually, She-Hulk fight for, you know... For once in the show, since, you know, her whole back and forth with Hulk. Nice to see her actually use her abilities for, you know, saving the day. From Wong having a bench watch of The Sopranos to him giving us his drink of choice at the post credit scene. I really loved and enjoyed this episode, so I give it a 7.8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about She-Hulk episode 5. Here's my thoughts and review. Okay, man, this episode was definitely a filler, man. I, I, I can't. Oh, it was, it was a, it was a good, entertaining episode. I had a few laughs, a few chuckles, but I mean, uh, I mean, Tatiana's, uh, uh, uh Titania, the, that whole she hulk cop, right? I'm like, mm. the only thing I have to say, and I hate to say this, and again, I know everyone's, you know. Everyone wants to make it about the it's the fact that Daredevil is going to show up and that um, that's what you know. Some people are saying that's what they're interested in instead of She Hulk. I have been enjoying the show, even in this episode, even though it did feel like a filler. It I still enjoyed it. I mean, there's I, I, I I'll say this: I enjoyed this more than some of the What If episodes or some of the Moon Knight episodes. It was definitely entertaining for me. Um, it, I mean, it, again, it wasn't, okay, so, I mean, this, okay, I'll say this, the CGI for this time, I mean, the, all the rest of the episodes, it really wasn't really, I mean, yes, it was there, sometimes you can notice CGI might have been, mm, but, I mean, it really didn't bother me, but this episode in particular, especially in that scene where they show a video footage during the courtroom where she's walking down the courtroom stairs, that was, that's when it started to really, you know, uh, speak out to, to me, like, as in, like, the CGI wasn't up to par. Um, but, you know, again, I'm not one of those people that really don't let that bother me. I mean, I've seen the worst CGI in the film and still love the film. I really don't care. Um, cause I know how much hell and work it is to just to be a CGI artist, especially nowadays. So I don't care about that. I mean, I do care. I mean, I'm, you know, 
whatever I get the best of is great, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll settle for whatever I get. But like I said, I've been enjoying the rest of this uh, show, but the main one, and we didn't get a post credit scene. I thought we were going to probably get one for every episode, but I guess we're, we, we weren't. But the Daredevil helmet. The Daredevil mask helmet, bro. Come on, man. As a big Daredevil fan, this is just fantastic. I don't understand why people are saying this isn't the same Daredevil. It's obviously the same design, just different color. It did answer me the question, though, how the hell did he get a new design suit? Because originally the dude that designed the suit from season three, they basically cut ties. So I don't know how he would have gotten a suit, but now we got the answer. Raises the question, though, if this suit is a temporary suit for his L.A. visit, then what is the original suit from Hell's Kitchen, New York City? I'll give this episode a 6 out of 10, man. Thank you for watching, cinema fans. Follow for more. So here are my thoughts and review on She-Hulk episode 6. Now, I know I did like a little parody video stitching uh, Mark Briggs and called it She-Hulk episode um, 6 review. But I was... I really wanted to actually talk about the show because um, there were some things that um, I really just wanted to really touch upon. For the most part of this show so far, I've been really enjoying. I, mean, I think my personally my my favorite episode well episodes are episode one and two. Um, the show promised it to be a comedy. I do feel like when it comes to the comedy parts, it's there sometimes, but from what they were marketing the show to be. I was expecting it to be like a fourth wall breaking, like, you know, like how, they, like literally the first scene, like, let me put it this way. We have six episodes. So you would think maybe we would have maybe what, four to five moments in each episode of something that would make you just laugh your ass off. But instead it's kind of been the occasional, haha, you know, it, I mean, not to be funny, but like seriously, like. That's what it has been. I mean, except for the whole twerking, like, like I wish we had more of that in the show. I mean, not the twerking, but you know what I mean. Just those those comedic moments. I wish we had more in the show. I wish we had more of the Thor Love and Thunder comedy in this show. And I know Marvel can do it because, like I just said, Thor Love and Thunder, and then you know that Thor Ragnarok. But the most disappointing part of this show, and I think they're doing the same thing that the Daredevil show did, is I feel like they're really falling short when it comes to the lawyer side, when it comes to Jennifer Walters. Like, in the beginning of the show, like, the show, they kind of at least had one moment in each episode for the beginning of the show where she was a lawyer. But I feel like, I don't know what happened. Like, once we got to the Wong episode, where well, the second Wong episode, I just felt like the lawyer side kind of just was forgotten about. I mean, it's obvious she will be back being a lawyer because, you know, Matthew Murdoch's going to show up. So obviously they're going to, they have to have them in a courtroom together. They have to. It's going to be a missed opportunity if they don't. And don't get me wrong, like, I like the wedding episode of this, the show, but like, I feel like they could have really just had She Hawk, Jennifer Walters, be actually used a B plot where she's um, protecting um, a mortal man or um, being a lawyer for that instead of having the side characters be. The lawyers she it was perfect for her especially for her arc overall in the show and i wasn't bummed that daredevil was not going to show up i kind of figured that they were going to pull that i wasn't expecting it so i wasn't bummed when it didn't happen like there was a part of this episode where she was talking to this dude that's very charming at the wedding and she gets very vulnerable and i really loved and enjoyed that a lot the cgi was really good though i'm not gonna lie overall i've been loving the show but i give this episode a 6.8 out of 10 for me